Hello everyone and welcome back once again. This is Ajay. So today we are going to learn about binary search, which is one of the searching technique by which uh, we search for a particular item or a number in a given list. So normally in binary search, what we do is we divide the list into two. So it is called as binary search because we keep on dividing the list into two. So if there is a list, we will divide it by two. And uh, so we will have two list. So the number that we are searching for will exist in either of the list. So we will keep that list and discard the other list. And then again, this list we will divide it by two and so on. So this is how binary search work works. So for better understanding what I have done is there is an algorithm in front of you by which I will just tell you how it works. And after this, we will impl implement the entire program in Python and that too using the recursive function. So let us first understand how binary search works. So in front of you, the number that we are searching is number 24. Now, before we go ahead, let me tell you in binary search, the one mandatory condition that we have is the number of items or the number numbers in a list should be either in ascending order or in descending order. Now, this is a mandatory this is a mandatory rule in binary search. Otherwise, the binary search technique will not work. So the list should be either in ascending order or in descending order. So this is a mandatory rule. So as you can see, there is a list in front of you and this list is in ascending order. Now, if you go to the algorithm, there is a while loop and uh, the first is less than e equal to last. Now the first variable will be pointing to the first position that is number two and the last position will be pointing to the last item that is 78. So the value of first is one that is a position and the value of last is 10. So the condition while condition is true one is less than equal to 10. So what we will do is we will calculate the mid that is we will add first plus last divided by two. So over here you can see this is a over here I have just shown you that this is a comment 1 plus 10 divided by 2 so that will be 5.5 so we will take the whole number only the integer part and we will uh, discard the uh, the decimal part so the value of med will be 5 now inside the while loop there is a if statement that is if l of med is equal to n so the value of med is 5 so the value of mid is 5, so the position 5 and the number is 23. And the number that we are searching is 24. So the condition that I have applied is, uh, so this condition, if statement goes false, it is not equal to n. So it will go to the else part. Now under the else part, I am checking the condition if l of mid that is 23, if it is less than n. So over here, the condition becomes true because 23 is less than 24 as per the position is concerned. So what we will do is we will, we will change the value of first that is mid plus one. So the value of mid is five. So five plus one is six. Now the value of first will become six. Now the value of first you can see has become six. So we can say that the uh, first is now pointing to position six that is number 24. So in a way we have divided this list into two and the required number that is 24 exists in one of the list. So we will discard, discard the other part. So we don't require this part because the number does not exist in that particular part. Now again the while loop will go first is less than equal to last. The value of first is six and the value of last is 10. The condition is true so again we will calculate the med that is 6 plus 10 and then divided by 2 that is 8 then the if statement that is l of mid that is l of 8 that is 58 now 58 is not equal to n that is 24 so it will go for the else part now in else part the condition is if l of mid that is 58 is less than n that is 24 now even this condition goes false so what will happen it will, it will go for the else part now in else part we are changing the value of last as mid minus 1. So value of mid is 8 minus 1 that is 7. So you can see now the uh, pointer last will come to the position 7. 
So we can see over here the value of last has now become 7. So in a way the variable last is pointing to position 7 that is 56. Again the while loop will go first the value of first is 6 and the value of last is 7. The condition goes true and then again we will calculate the mid that is first plus last that is 6 plus 7 divided by 2. Now it will come down to 6.5 so we will discard the decimal part and take the integer part that is 6. Now the if statement if L of mid that is 6 that is 24 is equal to n and the value of n is 24 which is the number that we are searching for. So what will happen it will return the mid value. So we have found the number and we have uh, found the position of the number and we will return the position. So this is how the binary search works. We, all, we keep on dividing the list by 2 till the point we search or we get the number. Now let us implement this algorithm in Python and that too using the recursive function. So this is a program in front of you. This is a function called as binary and these are the same numbers. Only the difference is we are starting from the index value 0, 0 to 9 since uh, in list the index value starts from 0. So we are giving a call to the function and we are passing the argument 24, the number to search to uh, which will be received by the variable n and 0 which will be received by first and uh, len of l that is 10 minus 1 that is 9 which will be received by last. So the first variable will be pointing to the first uh, number, the last will be pointing to the last number and n that is the number to be searched. Now over here there is a if statement if first is less than equal to last yes the condition becomes true and then we will calculate the mid that is first plus last 0 plus 9 divided by 2 it will come down to 4.5 but we will only take the integer part so mid will have the value 4 and then the if statement if l of mid that is l of 4 that is 23 is not equal to n so the condition becomes false it will go to the else part in else part the condition is l of mid that is 23 is less than 24 so the condition is true so again we are giving a call to the same function now to understand how a recursive function works what we have to assume is the number of copies that many number of copies gets generated so i'll just show you how this is the first call and this is the second call now over here the value of n that we have passed is 24 you can see over here and the value of first the value that we have passed is mid plus 1. Now the value of mid for this particular copy was 4. So 4 plus 1 that is 5. So first will receive the value 5 and last as it is the value has been passed. So the value of last is 9. Now for this particular copy again the condition will be checked. If first is less than equal to last the condition is true. And then we will cal calculate the mid that is uh, 5 plus 9 that is 14 divided by 2 so it will come down to 7. Now the if statement that is L of mid that is uh, 7 that position 7 and the value is 58. Now again the condition goes false then the else part elif will uh, get executed it will, will get checked and the L of mid that is 58 is less than n. Now this condition also becomes false because the value of n is 24 and L of mid is 58. So now it will go to the else part, it will execute the else part and then again we are giving a call to the same function. So let us assume that another copy has got generated. So over here the same another copy has got generated, we have to assume it to understand the recursive function. The value that we passed, the argument that we passed was n, that was 24. First it will be passed as it is, that is uh, number 5. And for last we have passed the value mid minus 1. Now for uh, the previous copy the value of mid was 7. So 7 minus 1 that is 6. So the value of last will be 6. Then again the if statement will be checked. First less than equal to last. Now the condition is true that we will calculate the mid that is 5 plus 6 that is 11 divided by 2. It will come down to 5.5. So we will take the integer part. So the value of mid is 5. So if L of mid that is 5 position 5 and the value is 24. Now this is the number that we are searching. So the condition goes true. So what will happen? The value of mid will be returned to its previous call.
So here it is. Now the variable made of this particular copy will receive the same value that is 5 and again from here the function will return to its previous call. So the same value of med has been received to the previous call that is the variable med will receive the value 5 and from here the value med will be returned to the to the very first call in the main program. So the value of med will be 5. So the if statement made not equal to minus 1 will go false. So the else part it will print the number is will go true. The if uh, med is not equal to minus 1 will go true. So the number is present at location med that is 5. So this is how the program runs. Now in a case where the function the number the number if it is not present in that case the function will start returning the value minus 1. So mid will, rece uh, mid will receive the value minus 1 and so the if statement over in the main program will become false and then the else part it will print the number is not present in the list. So we have understood the entire working of a binary search and that too using a recursive function. So this is how binary search works. So it is very easy. If anything you have missed, you can just rewind the video and just go through it once again. And I'm pretty sure that binary search that too using the recursive function is quite easy. So if you have liked my video, do subscribe to my channel. There is a subscribe button in front of you. Click it right away. And after that, click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos. Bye for now.